1960 Bentley S2 in white. It's the 6.2 litre V8 car, this one. Very, very pretty. Lovely and straight down both sides with a nice retrim in there as well. Body wise, we're going to start off the bonnet, work our way around on the interior. Then we're going to fire it into life. Lovely and straight up the right hand side and the left hand side of the bonnet. They obviously had a paint job at some point in its life. We're not sure if it's factory wiped. We are trying to find this out. But there's one or two tiny, tiny, tiny little imperfections in the paint. If your nose is touching it, you will notice one or two. But that's all I can whinge about. No dings or dents down the bonnet. It's lovely and straight. Chrome grill is in good order all the way around there. Some light scratching to the top of the bright work, but it is from 1960, remember? Bentley badge is good. The flying bee is all nice. One or two little marks on the grill. Around the headlights and around the front and left-hand side wing, no corrosion coming through. With it being white, you'll see it a mile off. There's no corrosion. You've got that lovely double coat chain stripe down both sides, just breaking up the white a little bit. Front bumper, left-hand side, all the way across in lovely condition with some very, very, very minor pitting, and I mean very minor pitting. I've got a tiny little bit of paint for it across the front there on that lip and a little bit of crack in there just on the seam itself. And again, around the lights on the right-hand side of the front of that wing there, no corrosion coming through at all. Lovely and straight down that right-hand side. I'll give it one thing, it sits nice and level all the way down. Right hand side front wing and wing top around the arch there. No corrosion coming through. You've got those lovely pinstripe white walls with the uh, chrome hubs and again in lovely condition. Not the wing top itself, no dings or dents, perfectly straight down that right hand side wing. Working our way backwards onto the driver's front door and again nice and tidy on the door itself. No big dings or dents, nice one shade of white all the way along. One or two little bits of a little bit of paint flake there on the uh, pinstripe but around the handles all good the chrome works all nice around the windows up and across the roof again perfectly flat across the roof there nice and tidy a little bit of a dimple there in the paint but lovely and flat and straight all the way across the roof there with a good shine to it and like i say perfectly straight down both sides this one as we come on to the driver's rear door and again lovely and tidy on the door no dings no dents no corrosion no bubbling no chips out the back edge of the door here lovely and straight all the way across that lovely big rear quarter. If I go around the arch, we'll have a look. And again, no corrosion coming through on the paint side of things. There's a little bubble there on the inside lip. And a few little stone chip bubbles at the bottom half of the quarter, but very, very small. Not even the size of a 5P. Again, a lovely another white painted chrome hubcap there with a little bit of pitting. Round onto the rear quarter, right hand side. Look how straight it is down there, lovely and shiny. We're across the back bumper with no pitting. Override is a lovely one or two little slight scratches. A couple little dings in the in the overriders there, but no heavy pitting at all. Lovely and tidy all the way across that back bumper. Rear lights are nice and clear. Up the boot there itself again, lovely and straight all the way up there. The tin works all good. No corrosion across the back edge of the boot there. Lovely and shiny all the way across. Nothing around the rear window, more importantly. No corrosion coming through there. Glass is lovely and clear. Handles are nice. Number plate surrounds all good as well. And so is the bright wake around the rear lights. As we come rounding down onto that left hand side rear quarter, around the fuel for the cap, no chips out the paint. Lovely and straight down the rear quarter. Once again, across the bottom half, nice and tidy. And as you come around the arch, you'll see a little scuff here on the left hand side arch. That is left hand side rear arch. No corrosion coming through. Dead white all the way down. Lovely and tidy across the lower half of the sill sections. And again, perfectly straight down the left-hand side. No dings or dents in the doors. No chips out the back edge of the door there. Body line is lovely around the arch. I've got a little bit of a scratch here in the paint there. And again, passing your front door, the back edge of the door, lovely and straight. All the way down as you get that to that lovely big front sweeping quarter. You can see again that wing, lovely and straight around the arch again. No complaints. Lovely and tidy around that arch. And again, dead straight down both sides. Ready to cruise around in this one. Interior wise, we've had some money spent in. You've got the red leather with the white piping on the, all the door cards, the carpet set, and the seat. So there's the driver's door card, no complaints there. The seats themselves are beautiful, lovely and tidy. Both armrests are all nice and free with the piping on the armrest as well. There's been some money spent in here, not everyone's taste with the white piping, but all lovely and shiny across there. No rips, no tears, lovely and soft. Steam wheels in fabulous condition, as is the dashboard. No cracks to the dials at all. A little bit of wear on the uh, the key ignition there, but that's all. Loving straight headlines, not sagging, no rips, no tears. Nice carpet set as well, all the way throughout with the white piping. All the doors are right as well. No slamming, 
no having to shut them twice they open perfectly rear door card once again unmarked the wood's lovely as well on the door caps picnic tables are lovely no delamination at all there all nice and free all the way across backs of the seats are gorgeous rear carpet sets lovely no rips or tears and again another retrimmed rear seat with the center armrest no complaints at all they're lovely and soft all the way across into the boot again boot carpet's nice not normally that nice on one of these but that's really nice and tidy no rips or tears but again everything just closes right no slamming no effort needed at all on the doors left hand side rear again door card is unmarked there's no rips there's no tears the wood is perfect picnic table again lovely clean and tidy all the way across no delamination at all to the picnic table and again the rear seat is unmarked with it being retrimmed nice dark red carpet set again with the white piping and again you close the door it's closed it's not bouncing back open left hand side front door card again wood's perfect door caps are good no problems at all on the card lovely carpet set lovely dashboard and again retrimmed seat all the way across no complaints again on that side and again the door is closed the engine bay 6.2 litre v8 this one all nice and presentable in there james is going to fire it into life for us it wants a little bit of a tune-up if you're being picky i think it wants a nice gentle drive down the road with it just being not used for a while it's been started and stopped started and stopped but if i straight in life like so straight in the knife there second time round that was James letting go of the key too quick a little bit of a rev you know no problems there but just a little, running a little bit rich from what we can see nice little gentle pull down the road I think we'll clear that through or certainly a little bit of a tune up just with it being uh, not used for a couple of years now gorgeous gorgeous bodywork lovely interior on this 1960 Bentley S2 it's the V8 it's ready to be enjoyed needs for nothing that one in my eyes Really liking it, liking it in white, sort of come back round in that colour, that's for sure. There you have it, 1960 Bentley S2, 6.2 litre VH white with that retrimmed red interior.